Good evening, dear televiewers, and welcome to another edition of Kumi News on Radio Television Voice of the Cross. Here are the headlines. The School of Theodore Andesi to train young men through the reading of Christian literature opens in Dumbi in the East Region of Cameroon. The third edition of ZTF Music Academy takes place in Kumi with an average of 120 participants per day from seven nations. A seminar to train in driving and the usage and maintenance of agricultural machinery is ongoing at the headquarters of CFI. Those were the headlines. Stand by for the news in full. The School of Theodore Andosi officially started on the 26th of December 2020 in Dumbi, in the East Region of Cameroon. This is a three-year retreat program which has been hosted by the World Conquest Library. Details with Levi Ebon. Brother Chodo Andersi, leader of Christian Missionary Fellowship International, did not become a leader without being trained by his adopted father, Professor Zacharias Tanye Formon. Among the different aspects of the rigorous training he received from his father, one of which was an in-depth into the Christian literature world. At the latter age of his boyhood, his father, Professor Zacharias Tanye Formon, gave him access to his personal library of which Brother Chodo read, if not all, almost every single book in that library. This gave him a broad spectrum into the Christian literature world and greatly contributed to the caliber of leadership he wields today. In order to pay his debt to his father, he decided to create SOTA, School of Chodo Andosi, in the view of building young men the way his father built him. Not forgetting that in the scriptures, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, did the same thing taking young men from the royal families to be trained and taught to acquire wisdom and understanding before recruiting them into his service. It is in this light that Sota is born. The first session of the School of Chodo Andose started on the 26th of December 2020 with 37 students as its first badge. This session, which is currently taking place at the World Conquest Library, will last for three years by the end of this training program, each student is expected to have read a thousand books by different authors, including Professor Zacharias Tanis Formun, and present a project of creating either a library or a Bible study group in his or her own locality. The program started with a 10-day retreat during which the director of SOTA, Brother John Babak, outlined the characteristics of a student of this institution. Their daily program includes personal time with God, 4 to 7 p.m., morning devotion, personal hygiene and breakfast, teaching, not forgetting physical exercise or homework, and lunch. Their daily program included personal time with God from 4 to 7 a.m., 7 to 8 a.m. morning devotion, 8 to 10 a.m. personal hygiene and breakfast, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. teaching, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. physical exercise or homework and lunch, 4 to 6 p.m break 6 to 7 little teaching and reading till 10:50 p.m. The World Conquest Library was itself opened in April 2020 and it holds more than 20,000 books by different authors. Priscilla Damat doctor so small. Situated in Dumbi in the East Region of Cameroon is the World Conquest Library of Christian Missionary Fellowship International. The library was opened in April 2020 and holds over 2,000 books written in English, French, German and Arabic by different authors and on more than 45 themes. This institution was set up with the plan to train 1 million co-workers from among young students who will be useful to God and to Brother Theodore for the accomplishment of the goal that God has given us. It is also expected that the presence of such a rich book house in a community will make reading as common as the other disciplines of the Christian life, such as fasting and praying. The library is open to all, irrespective of age, race, ethnic background, or religion. Visiting hours are from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, except on Wednesday and Sunday, when it closes at 6 p.m. and 2 p.m. respectively. Annual registration at this institution is affordable. 
3,000 francs for children less than 10 years, 5,000 francs for those between the ages of 10 and 16, and 7,000 francs for every other person above 16. Since its creation, about 45 people have registered to use the library. Also, books can be borrowed from there for a maximum period of two weeks. Reporting for Kome News, I am Domato Priska. ZTF Music Academy had its third session from the 17th to the 27th of December 2020 with 175 participants from seven nations. During this edition, the choir recorded 12 songs, some of which were composed by the participants themselves. Details with RTVC. The third edition of ZTF Music Academy brought together ministers of praise from Gabon, France, Belgium, Central African Republic, Cameroon, Rwanda and Chad. These persons were trained in nine different workshops, namely the piano, the bass guitar, vocals, drums, percussion, cinema, dancing, computer graphics and sound engineering. This edition witnessed the participation of many music instructors from Cameroon and abroad. Also, Pastor Theodore Andusi, leader of Christian Missionary Fellowship International, was present on the last but one day to close the session. He started his message by commanding the participants to read the Cindy Jacobs prophecy about the Music Academy, which is to train musicians from all over the world. And then drawing inspiration from the book of Revelation, he said there are three types of musicians in heaven. Um, hey, Revelation is, a, is a, a book of songs. Apocalypse est un livre de, de chant. It is heaven's book of, of songs. C'est le recueil de cantiques du ciel. Uh, it is the only uh, glimpse we have of heaven's song book. C'est le seul aperçu que nous avons du recueil de cantiques du ciel. Amen. So, uh, when, before Brazak went to be with the Lord, Donc, avant que le frère Zach ne reparte auprès du Seigneur, one of his ambitions was to memorize Revelations from chapter 1 to 22. L'une de ses ambitions, c'était de mémoriser Apocalypse du chapitre 1 au chapitre 22. Uh, to memorize Revelation is to be permeated by the thoughts and the atmosphere of heaven. Mémoriser le livre d'Apocalypse, c'est être imprégné des pensées et des, euh, de l'atmosphère du ciel, de l'ambiance du ciel. Alléluia. Amen. La première catégorie de musiciens c'est ceux qui entourent immédiatement le trône. The 24 elders les 24 vieillards and the four cherubim, et les quatre chérubins. Or they call them the four creatures. Ou bien on les appelle les quatre créatures. But from the book of Ezekiel, we know that they are cherubim. Mais à partir du livre d'Ézéchiel, nous savons que ce sont des chérubins. Or seraphim. Ou des séraphins. We shall distinguish cherubim and seraphim someday. Un jour, nous, nous pourrons distinguer les chérubins uh, but in, in, in Revelation, Mais dans le livre uh, in chapter 5, verse 8, au chapitre 5, verset 8, the Bible presents to us the immediate environment of the throne of God. La Bible nous présente l'environnement immédiat du trône de Dieu. There are the four creatures, Il y a les quatre créatures whom we have called the cherubim, que nous avons appelé les chérubins, the 24 elders, il y a les 24 vieillards, and each one of them et chacun d'eux is a harp player. Est un joueur de harp. That's what the Bible tells us. C'est ce que la Bible nous dit. In Revelation 5, Dans Apocalypse chapitre 5 verset 8. So when the Bible introduces the throne. Donc lorsque la Bible nous présente le trône, the throne, the eternal throne of the Lamb. Le trône éternel de l'agneau. It introduces to us the immediate entourage. Elle nous présente l'entourage immédiat. The cherubim. Les chérubins. Are all music, musical cherubim. Ils sont tous des chérubins musiciens. Yes. And the elders. Et les anciens. The heavenly model of elders. Le modèle céleste d'anciens. Are all musical 
Ils sont tous des anciens musiciens. I repent. Je me repens. I was an elder. J'étais un ancien. Whose only musical instrument was the a cappella with the mouth? Dont le seul instrument musical et de musique était la cappella avec ma bouche. And the hands? Et mes doigts, mes mains. Now I don't know how to shake the body very well. Je ne sais pas bien bouger le corps. Some day I will loosen up. Un jour, je vais me détendre. And if heaven is the archetype of the church, et si le ciel est le prototype de l'église, the leaders of our churches, alors les dirigeants de notre église, ought to be musicians. Devraient être des musiciens. And every leader, et tout dirigeant, ought to have his musical. Devrait avoir son instrument de musique. Because the leaders of heaven, parce que les dirigeants du ciel, the 24 elders, les 24, les 24 vieillards, each one of them had a harp. Chacun d'entre eux avait une harpe. The second category of musicians in heaven. La deuxième catégorie de musiciens au ciel c'est dans Apocalypse chapitre 8 versets 1 et 2 and verse 6. et au verset 6. The angels, Les anges seven angels were given trumpets. il a été donné des trompettes à sept anges and each of those angels et chacun de ces anges was to unleash the purposes of God on earth and in all creation. Devait dévoiler, libérer. Déclencher. Merci. Devait chacun de ces anges devait déclencher les desseins de Dieu sur la terre. Yes, and in all creation. Et dans toute la création. With a trumpet blast and sound. Avec une, une trompette retentissante. Music. La musique. Is revealed to us. Nous est révélée. As the harbinger of God's great purposes. For nations and the world. Comme le précurseur des desseins de Dieu pour les nations et pour le monde. And the God's purposes et les desseins de Dieu are sequenced by the trumpets. So, but as Theodor also said that each of us will receive a musical instrument made by God himself on condition that we overcome the world and the beast. We will be God's companions in heaven throughout all eternity enveloped by his presence. In Kume for our TVC, I am Hule David. Leaders of the centers and localities of the headquarters church met on Saturday the 9th of January to evaluate the activities of the year 2020, to draw up their program for this year, and to thank God for the success of the Praise Festival. The meeting was organized by the pastor of the headquarters church, Mr. Alphonse Tawit. Levi Ebon in this report. The meeting started with the moment of praise and thanksgiving to the Lord after each leader had given a report of what the Lord had enabled them to achieve in the year 2020. The reports were on the number of souls won, the number of churches planted, the number of localities penetrated, the number of marriages celebrated, and the number of miracles performed. During this meeting, it was decided that Pastor Sama Israel and Jean Ondwana will lead the team responsible for recovering the 110,000 members of the headquarters church. They also scheduled the launching of the conquest of 1,000 localities from the 14th of January beginning with the locality of Minta, as well as reorganizing the program of the Monday prayer day at the base. Pastor Alphonse Tawet and his assistants equally agreed on measures to be taken for 1,000 people to attend the vision night every Wednesday. He encouraged them to cooperate with God to ensure that all those under their leadership attend all the meetings of the headquarters church. He equally led his people to plead with God to produce in them a spirit of joy and praise as their strength to succeed in phase three. The meeting ended at 5.30 p.m. with brotherly fellowship usually around a common meal. For RTVC, I am Levi Ebon Timmy. 
During the meeting of the leaders, Pastor Alphonse Stawet announced his plan to visit all the centers of the headquarters church twice this year. The objectives of this visit is to ensure that the saints return to the pursuit of the goal of the headquarters church, to the 15 minutes prayer retreat, and to the obedience of the Santa Cruz prophecy and the Betra message. So on the 10th of January, he visited the center of the students and staff of the School of Knowing and Serving God. Cynthia Abia reports. About 300 brethren were present at the Nyangaza Center during the joint service organized in the occasion of the visit of the pastor of the headquarters church. This is the center of both students and staff of the School of Knowing and Serving God. The meeting was coordinated by Brother Etwabak Marek, who led the saints to thank God for his goodness towards them. After the performance of the choir, Pastor Alphonse took to the stage and shared from Revelation chapter 22, verses 20 and 21. He presented the return of the Lord Jesus Christ as a ray of hope in the midst of increasing evil on the earth and the many deaths caused by COVID-19. He invited his audience to prepare for this return by abandoning their evil ways, by doing the good works that God has prepared in advance for us, and by loving mercy. He also emphasized on the 15 minutes retreats and on its influence on the activities of the day, and insisted that the brethren should make it a daily routine. Pastor Alphonse ended his message with an altar call to which about 30 people responded. He then prayed for the sick, delivered those possessed by demons, and pronounced blessings on the whole assembly. Reporting for Kume News, I am Cynthia Abia. A seminar on agricultural mechanization is currently going on at the Agro-Pastoral Training Center in Bipondo in the East Region of Cameroon. This program is aimed at training participants in the usage and maintenance of agricultural machinery. More on this story with Elime Belta. Since the 12th of January 2021, 15 students have been receiving training in the usage and maintenance of agricultural machinery. Their lecturers are Mr. Ebode Ebode Syriac Magloa, instructor at the Vocational Training Center for Drivers in Yaoundi, and Mr. Salah Philip, instructor in driving from Cinema Yaoundi. They train the students both in theory and in practice. The seminar started with a presentation of participants, beginning with the teachers and administration of CIFAP, and then the trainees. Given that the Agro-Pastoral Training Center is one of the departments of Christian Missionary Fellowship International, the opening of the seminar was presided over by the pastor of the headquarters church. After the presentations, the two group pictures and went on a short break. On their return, the seminar started effectively with a definition of some technical terms. In the course of the day, Mr. Ebode emphasized that this training program will be more practical than theoretical. In Kume for RTVC, I am Elime Beltha. In Garwa, the church organized a session of the World University of Prayer and Fasting for Children. The vice chancellor of this institution approved and sent a gift to the kids. Mary Ann Yugang in this report. It's 2021, the second year of phase three. We thank God for we are progressing. In the spiritual mission of Gawa, the Lord is determined to build a young generation. It is with this aim that a session of World University of Prayer and Fasting for Children in the spiritual nation was held from December 28 to 30, 2020, at the premises of Pastor Paul Bello, with about 100 children from 2 to 16 years old, mainly from Gawa. The main objective of the World University of Prayer and Fasting was to enable children to see the relevance and essentiality of having a personal relationship with God, being a disciple of the Lord Jesus and having a disciple maker. One of the main methods used to achieve this goal was a Bible study on the life of Joseph, the son of Jacob. The children were led to study the character of Joseph as a servant of his parents, one who was consecrated and holy. The Bible study enabled each child to establish resolutions and ambitions for 2021 and they were taught accountability in order to easily evaluate the daily and monthly accomplishment of their resolutions. 
This session of the World University of Prayer and Fasting had several moments of relaxation, dancing, and at the end, gifts sent by Sister Emilia Tenu were handed to children who achieved their annual goals in Bible reading. Some children read their Bibles one, two, three, and seven times during the year 2020. Even the younger children of one, two, and three years who read the four Gospels with the help of their parents received gifts as well. A closing prayer followed this from the pastor of the church in Gawa, Brother Musa Buba. Also, at the cross overnight the next day, the Lord fully manifested himself by blessing us with heavenly rejoicing. He also granted us the grace to connect to Kumi at the time our leader, Brother Chiodo Abusei, proclaimed the 2021 Rima. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. For our TVC, I am Mary Ann Yugan from Gawa. Leaders of our work in the Southwest Spiritual Province organized the 20th edition of the Regional Youth Bible Camp from the 24th to the 29th of December 2020 in Bomaka, Boya. Cynthia Abia tells us more about the camp. This is the first time the Southwest Regional Camp is taking place in December. More than 200 youths from 33 localities were present at this holy convocation. The main speaker was Brother Antoine Kala, leader of the youths in the church in Douala. In his message, he said that the objective of the camp was to get the youth to encounter the Lord Jesus, become his disciples, and make themselves available for the accomplishment of the goal. He quoted the example of Joseph in Genesis chapter 35, verses 1 to 12, and chapter 37, verses 1 to 16, who, being young, did not fail to serve his father wholeheartedly. He also said that Joseph separated himself from sin and from bad friends and commanded the youths to do the same because, as it is written, bad conduct corrupts good character. Every teaching session was followed by Bible studies in groups aimed at helping the youths to better understand the message and to put it into practice. The camp went on successfully despite the ongoing Anglophone crisis. Many people believed in the Lord and 44 of them were baptized into water while 58 were filled with the Holy Spirit. Cynthia Abia, RTVC, Bertwa. Also in the Gambia, the youths of CMFI organized their second Bible camp of the year from the 26th to the 30th of December 2020, the event took place in Serukunda, Greater Banjun. Our TVC reports. The second youth Bible camp of Christian Missionary Fellowship International in the Gambia brought together 31 participants from four of the seven regions that constitute the nation. During the five days of this event, they watched videos of Pastor Theodore Andosi's messages at the 2020 International Students Bible Camp and also read a prophecy of the 2020 Prayer and Fasting Crusade to prepare the youths for the harvest. Other activities of the camp included interactive sessions, workshops, water baptism, games and talent night. The objective of this Bible camp was to mobilize the youths to get them fully involved in the accomplishment of the goal of history of our work. On the last day, there was a ministry of the baptism into the Holy Spirit, healing, deliverance, and breaking of curses. As a result, many were baptized into the Holy Spirit for the first time, others were refilled, some were healed of various diseases, while others took off the charms that were tied on them. Also, awards were given to some individuals for their outstanding performances in different aspects of life during the camp. Hule David, RTVC, Betwa. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this week in Kumi News on RTVC. The news crew will be back next week, same day. Till then, have a cherry weekend and God bless you.